The VTV series is good. I've been watching it since the very first episode aired, and I believe that it's an allegory, and what it's doing is portraying the New World Order. Put simply, the New World Order is global enslavement of the human race. More specifically, here is the goal. Quote, nothing less than to create a world system of financial control in private hands, able to dominate the political systems of each country and the economy of the world as a whole. The system is to control in a feudalist fashion by central banks of the world acting in concert by secret agreements arrived at frequent private meetings and conferences. The New World Order is bad news for everyone. We should be concerned. The VTV show, whether exposing the, the reality of the situation uh, in allegory, being supportive of us or not, I don't know, but I believe that we should be paying attention to this TV show. The New World Order has been going on for quite a while, and things in the recent years have been escalating. But I want to go over the specifics in this show. I'm going to start with Season 2, Episode 1. At the beginning, Anna says, You killed my children, I killed yours. And she's standing on a globe on the sidewalk pavement there. And a globe is reference to the globalists or the global governance the camera specifically zooms out to show the globe, and there are dead birds on also on the ground next to her while this is happening. This dead birds has been happening here in January 1 and January 4, and it seems to be we're having dead fish and dead birds happening. And I'll get into that later in this video, what I believe may be the cause. Uh, in fact, right after that we see the red sky, or right in that scene we see the red sky, and that's a reference to chemtrails, what are people are calling chemtrails. Now, I don't know the whole story, or even completely if the uh, chemtrails issue is real, but that's a global cloud seeding, is what is claimed, or at least in many countries there are jets seeding clouds. We'll get more into that. The next we see reference to claims that Anna is losing control and succumbing to her emotions. That's a reference to the world's ruling elite are often... There are claims that world's ruling elite are often psychopaths or narcissists who either do not feel emotions at all or are unable to feel empathy for their victims and view not feeling emotions as a strength. Blue energy is uh, an allegory to green energy when they're saying blue energy in the show. It's a reference to green energy. And the next we see rioting in the streets. This has been foreseen and is already happening. This will escalate. For example, in London there were the protests when they raised tuition rates for the students recently. It's happening in other cities around the world, like there have been food riots and etc. Also, there's a mention to the stockpiling of guns and ammunition. This is already happening here in the United States. People are fearing hyperinflation and riots and chaos relating to the failed economic system that we have here. Corporatism. Also, we see the sacrificing of the fellow V 12 minutes into the episode is just a reference to keeping control, ritual sacrifice of keeping control. And then also the showing of the V logo in between the commercial breaks. If you see that, I think the last, the season two, episode one, the, I'm watching one, I actually muted the commercials, so I may have missed some of the V showings. But if you're seeing that V three times, the V is uh, also the occult symbol for destruction. That's one thing, which the show is sort of about the destruction of a human society and the aliens taking over, right? So V is a, is a cult symbol for destruction. But also V is the Hebrew letter V, which is the number six. So if you see that V in between the commercial break three times, that's a 666 reference. This would be another New World Order reference because they're often associated with Luciferian worship. The V's unilaterally changing the skies in the uh, last episode of Season 1. We continued at that point with this Season 2. That's a reference to the authorities apparently spraying chemtrails 
without public disclosure or true public discourse. So she just hit a button and all the, she just made a unilateral decision there all on her own to do that. I believe that's the allegory there. Later in the episode, Anna reveals that the red sky was to reverse global warming, which is one of the purported benefits of chemtrails, is to increase reflective cloud cover and cool the earth. Uh, you've heard of global dimming, maybe. And like, for example, on September 11, 2001, when the FAA downed all the planes, it was like one of the first time in decades that all the planes were down on the earth and all the clouds associated with jet traffic weren't being formed and created, and it was unprecedented. But chemtrails apparently are chromium and barium that make the contrails last instead of a few a minute or two or three they can last up to six hours maybe more but four i think it's four to six hours and that reflects the sun's heat okay next uh, 27 minutes in the character erica evans she says everything that has happened has been plotted it's all part of their plan against us this is exactly what truthers are saying about this new world order, that this has all been planned, this is ongoing for many decades. Chad in this episode covers how the media is trying to bring out the truth, but their hands are tied, that they know some of what's going on. This is uh, an allegory to the mass media here uh, in the United States and probably many, especially maybe like the BBC and other countries. Apparently, being primarily a propaganda engine, being very pro-war, pro-bailouts, not scrutinizing, not doing their job in scrutinizing the authorities and, and being uh, truly uh, independent. That was also, throughout season one, we saw his working with the V aliens and not knowing what was going on, being fooled and manipulated initially. Chad's covering of the human torture is a reference to the New World Order uh, or authorities torturing and experimenting on people. Of course, we've, we know now here in the United States that our government tortures people around the world and pri has prisons apparently all around the world and is involved in extradition and other inhumane practices. Apparently. I don't know all the details. The church for the uh, fifth column is called St. Josephine's Church. I just saw that. I thought maybe it was a reference. Maybe someone knows. Maybe that has significance. The jackets, I don't, but I don't know if anyone knows. Comment, please. The jackets having a camera that can spy on the owner wearer is a reference to the large scale spying that is happening now. Under the guise of anti terrorist activities, governments are spying on their populace probably mostly through mobile phones, but perhaps also through cable boxes and other means such as street cameras. So we're having like an Orwellian society of spying and the authorities can perhaps press a button and listen to your conversations in your home and etc. For example, press was going to go on a flight with George Bush and they demanded, they insisted that any press on the plane uh, remove the battery from their mobile phone. Okay, uh, Anna, Anna sacrificing her children near the end is a reference to the elite sacrificing their own. For example, the highest Freemasons are said to be planning on sacrificing their low, lower levels one day. Also, the Illuminati, which are apparently intimately connected with the Freemasons at the highest levels, the Illuminati, which may, I don't know for sure really who they are, any one person for certain, would be, the claims are that people in the CFR, the Council for Foreign Relations, uh, that is an Illuminati uh, or directly Illuminati organization or perhaps the Skull and Bones but apparently they engage in human ritual sacrifices, such as fall equinox, where every fall equinox they sacrifice, a, the claims are at least 10,000, I think it's babies, yeah, it's something like that, I don't know how old they are, six months, or I don't, I don't know exactly, but I know they engage that uh, every fall equinox, that's the claim. At the end of season two, episode one, Anna's mother is wearing red, that's, well, there's a couple things. That's like the, the, the sin, that's like a reference to sin. But it also, if you notice, I, I don't think that's what it is, a reference to Anna is wearing purple. 
and red and purple is a reference to Satan in the occult, such as the captain in the Disney movie Pocahontas was wearing red and purple, or the bad guy or whatever he was, whatever he was, some kind of alien in the movie Stargate was wearing red and purple. There are other YouTube videos that cover this, or you can Google around and search red and purple is a reference to, it's an occult reference to, I believe, Satan. Also looking at my notes, the V-hand v hand sign is a cult symbol for destruction. I covered that. So there it is. Every episode that I see of this TV show, V, seems to be an allegory or parallels to the New World Order. I believe that it's a good show. I suggest you watch it. I believe it is covering current events and future events, perhaps. And we should be informed about this subject. And I believe one of the important things about the Illuminati, they have, I think it's called a code or a creed. It's not like a typical thing that you would hear. One of their creeds is that they are obligated to let us know what they're doing ahead of time. And I believe that that's what this show is partly about, is letting us know their intentions and their plans and what is going on. Well, thank you very much for your time.